Hey everybody, it's Glenn. You've seen me review the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Infinite series Rhino Baff Wave. Well now it's finally time to build the Rhino Baff and review him. But before we do that, I'm going to run down the entire wave from worst to the best. Starting with the bottom of the heap and contributing Rhino's right arm, it's Superior Venom. Or as I call him... Venom. Then coming with Rhino's torso, it's White Tiger. And also coming with Rhino's torso, yep, if you want every figure from the wave, you'll end up with a spare torso, it's Misty Knight. If only I hadn't had to do Hasbro's job for them and paint her eyes right, then Booyah should have been higher. Then coming with Rhino's left arm, it's Chameleon, and really not much separating the top four. So next, coming with Rhino's right leg, we're keeping it in the family with Chameleon's half-brother, Craven the Hunter. Then in second place and coming with Rhino's heads and as a Peter Parker clone proving that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, it's Scarlet Spider. Finally, coming with Rhino's left leg, the cream of the crop and totally taking me by surprise by rising to the top, it's Ghost Rider. I'm curious to know how the series stacks up for you, so let me know in the comments below. So now we have all the pieces, here is Rhino. First appearing in Amazing Spider-Man number 41 in October 1966, he has ever since been a staple of Spider-Man's rogues gallery. And dare I say it, perhaps the dimmest member. He kind of had to be to voluntarily agree to have a rhino suit bonded permanently to his skin. The suit does mimic the look of rhino hide, which Hasbro have done a great job of capturing the texture of it in relief. But in the comics, it's actually made of a special polymer that vastly enhances his durability. Plus, he has superhuman size and strength reflected in the muscular style sculpt. Then he is superhumanly fast over short distances and stay tuned as we'll check out the charge of this rhino when it comes to articulation. Getting this rhino bath in 2015 is serendipitous in a way as it marks the 10th anniversary since the last Legends rhino. That coming in 2005, Spider-Man's Fearsome Foes box set by Toy Biz. And while in my videos we've seen many a Hasbro redo of a character correct Toy Biz's mistakes, here I'm pleased to say for a decade past the Toy Biz Rhino holds up surprisingly well. I think it could be argued it's better than the Bath. But then the Bath does have the shoulder armor and half mask that represents a more modern look that might just tickle your fancy. Even if it doesn't, the shoulder armor pieces are removable, plus he comes with an interchangeable head representing a more classic look. So, best of both worlds? Well, both worlds, yes. Best? Not sure, cause that head sculpt though. Well, fellow reviewers have complained about the lack of personality in Marvel Legends head sculpts of late, and now we finally find out why. It's because this rhino has sucked the personality out of every other Legends that ever was, and his eye bulgingly barely containing it all. It's certainly a stark contrast to the modern head sculpt, but hey, we chill with age, right? Me personally, I'm cool with the whack expression, that is, had they just painted the eyes right. Come on, Hasbro, sort it out. It's literally half ass, one eye painted more or less okay, while the other one is like, hey, what's going on over there? Let's bring on another comparison, this time with 2013's Marvel Select Rhino. When I built the bath, I was like, ooh, I like it. Then comparing him with other versions, I was like, oh, I like it a bit less. In the plus column for the bath, I do really like the deco, plus it's been applied to the front and da 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 the back too. Of course the Ant-Man series Ultron bath was not as fortunate. In my opinion it's a deco that's superior to the select rhino, which has a deco that's left it looking quite chalky. It never captures the dark recesses of the cracked texture in the skin as the bath does, but beyond the deco the sculpt of the bath does not benefit from standing side by side with the select version. In the sculpt the bath's proportions just come off very blocky, whereas the Select has more naturalism to its overall posture. I mean as naturalistic as a giant guy in a rhino suit can get, but I hope you can see what I mean. With Legends being 6 inch scale and Select being 7 inch scale, the bath is scaled better for 6 inch figures, yet you can fudge the size difference of the Select, as Rhino is one of those characters whose size varies depending on a particular artist's representation. As such, I stick my Select Rhino in with my Legends and don't find him out of place. Posability should be Marvel Legends' strongest
this suit, so let's take a look at that. Both the heads rotate side to side and they have neck hinges moving the head this far down and then, well, not really too far back. At the shoulder, the arms rotate and they also hinge up. They are inhibited by the shoulder armor, so let's remove that. It moves that far up. There's upper arm rotation. And then there's a single jointed elbow. Moves the lower arm to not quite a right angle to the upper arm. Then at the wrist, the hands rotate and they're hinged, moving the hand down and then up. There is waist rotation, then there's also an ab crunch which moves this far forward and then moves, well it doesn't really move back. At the hips the legs move out to the side this much, they move this far forward and then they move slightly back. There's upper leg rotation and then a single jointed knee which is quite probably the ugliest knee joint I've ever seen. And then at the ankle the feet are hinged moving backwards and forwards and it has that awesome ankle rocker pivot that I love. For a full review of the Marvel Select Rhino I do have have one here on my channel which you can go check out but here they are both standing at their widest stance possible still with both feet flat on the floor surprisingly about the same and to a classic rhino charging pose yes the legends bath strikes it much easier and while pose like this the select one is a lot less stable than the bath but the select is not far behind in the poseability so ultimately the new bath has not ousted the marvel select as my favorite rhino but not being the best certainly does not make it the worst. It's perfectly serviceable. Is it the second best? Mm, I'm not sure. While we've not got super deep into a comparison with Toy Biz's Fearsome Foes Rhino, but go click the video on the right to check out almost every Rhino ever in action figure evolution and make the comparison for yourself. Alternatively, click the video on the left as through customizing, I turn the Marvel Select Rhino into Total Armor Rhino. Catching up on some correspondence from my previous video in which I reviewed Superior Venom. Hmm, I think Mysterio, a signature Spider-Man villain with a unique character design that deserves a unique sculpt. And to budget for that, let's stick the spot in the same wave. And fingers crossed, Hasbro won't screw up painting black dots on a Bucky Cap body. From what I understand, they can and have used Toy Biz molds, seen most recently with Bulldozer. As to why they don't, I don't know. Certain molds may have been destroyed or lost to time. I mean, production is all out source to China which limits their control over molds. <laughs> oh really? You may just be the inspiration then. If I were you I'd check your bedroom for Hasbro's hidden cameras. And on that note I hope to see you all in my next video. Mm, bye.